how to configure your card landing page for MailChimp, ConvertKit, or any other newsletter service. Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and welcome back to our audio series on using the card platform for digital media brands, online agencies, designers, and even for those of you who are simply just using card for your own purposes, like creating you know products and services and courses, and you're using card for its simplicity, uh, you know, to build great looking websites. All right. So uh, one of the questions that's come up in our uh, community challenge is how to actually use card in a way that builds an opt-in or a newsletter list. And this is really one of the best use cases for me, both as an individual who loves using card to test offers, but also If you're selling services to other people, there is no doubt that newsletter uh, landing pages are one of the easiest way, one of the easiest ways to get clients. And the reason for that is quite simple. Most newsletter oriented services have pretty shitty uh, web design. So, you know, it's easy even if you're using something like Podia, which we are for our partners.mindfulmarketplace.com community, which you can see, uh, or Gumroad, or you know any of these sorts of newsletter marketing services like Review, which I love and Twitter just purchased, the opt-in forms, the landing pages by which you get people on a list are not really great. Where Card really excels in its simplicity is really... Um, laser focused user action oriented pages. So getting folks to sign up for a landing page if you're using card is going to be you're going to convert much better for yourself and much much better for your clients. And it gives you a way of an ethical way of selling a high value service landing pages that are newsletter oriented. And it also, of course, gives you this whole back end You can then sell newsletter related marketing services, which is a great segue. So you can give away even a landing page on card and then sell a $500 a month newsletter marketing service to your clients and be doing well for them and well for yourself. All right. So here are the steps that I recommend if you're going to do this either for yourself or for your business. It's very simple. Step number one is pick a template that prioritizes newsletter opt-in. And most of the card uh, kind of generic, you know, uh, landing pages, profile pages are not really great for this. You do kind of want to get a premium template if you want to do this for clients, for sure. Uh, I have several in, if you're part of our community, our card course, I'll give you access to the ones that I prefer and recommend. But if you don't, if you're not, Uh, I do recommend buying one of these because they are demonstrably better than the generic free ones that Card offers. All right, number two, the form should be obviously in the hero section. I like to either make it the first element or even the only element on the page. So I will actually strip away everything else on the page other than just the opt-in form, the headline, and a little bit of text that follows the form to tell people what they're getting. Uh, If you're in the course, I'm actually reading this right now from the PDF or from a workbook. So I have a couple examples here that you can click on that you'll see the ones that either I'll give you if you're in the course or the ones that I prefer, um, you know, myself. And there are lots of them. There's one that I really, really like that I've actually covered in some of these other videos in December. So if you're interested in seeing that, just go back, uh, you know, in the video feed from December and I'll show you. You'll see me actually using that one for my own account. All right. And this is really where you're going to do the editing and the and the actual adding the form elements. You want to just hit the form element on the design part of your, uh, you know, card experience, which will bring up the side drawer within the card interface. And then all you're going to do from the left-hand side of the page is just pick your email service provider from the list that's available. So you'll see things like ConvertKit, MailChimp, those are the two most common. You also see Review, which is the one that I use and recommend. 
And then you'll see things like Sendy and MailerLite and, you know, SendFox and services like that that I've never used, but that some of you probably do. So you would simply grab that from the drop down that you see. The next step is entering your API. And this is the only little bit, bit of tech uh, mastery that you have to have. And it's not even really tech mastery, it's just organizational sort of, you know, flow. You have to either enter the API key, which you get from the service itself. So if you're using MailChimp or ConvertKit, you would simply grab that API key. If you're using Review, you would do the same thing. The only difference is something like ConvertKit or MailChimp or one of the other ones that I mentioned before also makes you grab the form ID so that you're targeting the form in addition to the API. Whereas again, Review, which is the one that I prefer to use, uh, just ha just has uh, a, a slot for API. There's no form to select. So, you know, make that choice predicated, obviously, on the email newsletter provider that either yourself or your clients are using. All right, and then you're done. So the next step that some people miss, um, so you're not really quite done. You are done, but this one last thing you do want to do, which is select the post form action rule, which is the redirection or success message that is that takes the the new subscriber on whatever journey or not you want them to take or not take. So if you scroll to the bottom of the card drawer, you'll see where it says redirection or post subscribe or something like that. And this is either the card generated thank you message that card will do for you, which I really recommend not using, or the thank you page that you set yourself, which is what I do recommend using. So the thank you pages in, to me are always preferable. It gives me the ability to redirect someone who just signed up to tell that person a little bit more about me or the product or the platform or the brand or the offer slash special offer. Sometimes I'll use this to drive people to our community manifesto in uh, on my mindful marketplace community which is something that's been quite popular and does a good job of conveying a kind of inspirational message to new people uh, or at least i hope it does and essentially you know you can pretty much do anything with this page that you want if you don't select redirection and input an url here instead you're simply gonna be left with the card generated a welcome message that you set, which I think looks kind of chintzy. So if you're doing um, if you're doing this for clients, remember that if you have a redirection URL set after someone signs up for their newsletter, you now have a whole new opportunity to sell something else to your client, right? You now have a set at a minimum, a second landing page that you can use to sell a second service for them, right? So they now have the opportunity to present a whole new universe of of offers or you know opportunities to their audience and you now have an opportunity to sell them that second page right so i mean it's really really super um simple ethical and it makes sense it's sequential so um you know this gives you more paid work if you're doing client related work and it also empirically is better for your clients right you would rather see them have a better looking landing page post sign up than the car generated thank you because it just does more uh, for them for their business and more builds more rapport with their own audience again this is in the scenario that you are selling a service to uh, clients or potential clients okie doke so hopefully that makes sense you have all this via uh, the pdf that you can download if you're part of our community again if you need access to my uh, choice of landing pages i will if again if you're part of our community i can't do this publicly obviously but if you're part of our community i will give you access to the ones that i use and recommend and show you some examples in the world that you can actually uh, emulate if you so choose Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you so much, as always, for listening and have a wonderful day.